All right. It's my great pleasure to introduce the CEO and founder of Collision, Patty Cosgrave, and the Mayor of Toronto, John Tory. So we're we're into the final the final afternoon. Who's tired? Anyone here tired? <laughs> but it's been it's 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 been great, Mayor. This has been a uh, it's been it's been incredible. It's been an incredible first year. We've learned so much. We're already certainly in my mind just planning all of the things that we can do uh, for year two. So how, 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 how was your first well, year? Well, my first Mayor? year of having you here was fantastic. How could it be anything else? How was your first year in Toronto? Well, that's good. I, I, I really want to hear from Patty and from you, and uh, I hope that he'll find a way through his uh, you know, channel of communications with you to let you have uh, input to us directly as to how we can be a better host city. I know that we've got to work on the food a little bit, and we've got to work on... There's some things I know we have to work on. Their first year growing pains, but we have been so thrilled to have you here. The city has been abuzz with collision. I mean, you just talk to everybody and they've seen people around, they've seen the signs, they've appreciated the business, and I think more than anything else, it's really um, given huge additional energy, not that we didn't have a lot before, to our own uh, tech ecosystem and, and to more than that. So it's been fantastic. Yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, it's been great. There's some magical little stories. I can't kind of disclose everything on stage, but I'm sure you'll read about it in the weeks to come. There was one of the, one of the startups outside that was exhibiting at a, at a pretty small booth got acquired uh, on the floor overnight. The kind of papers were signed, so that was a pretty kind of magical moment for some young uh, entrepreneurs. I think oftentimes a lot of people Sometimes they come here, they look at some of the young companies that are out, of, out there with these very, very small booths, and they, uh, they may overlook the fact that many of the kind of household names today, the kind of the Zendesks, even the Nests in the very early days, and Stripes and Ubers, uh, were all out there with those little booths. And I think, you know, if you have a chance, even in the last few hours, you just never know uh, who you're going to, uh, who you're going to bump into um, out there. It's, uh, there's a couple, couple little kind of magical stories that will emerge. Over the course of yesterday, there were more than a, a kind of a thousand stories filed uh, out of the event. And it's, for me, many years ago, I was, you know, I was, I was a startup attending kind of tech conferences. And when I see journalists, senior journalists from around the world writing, you know, stories often for the first time about kind of young companies, to me, that's, that still remains a, a very special thing. I, I always, of course, I'm glad when one of our large partners gets, you know, gets written about, that's great you know, for them, but for, for many of those large companies, they're already household names and they've arrived. For many others, they're at the very bottom of the ladder. It's incredibly precarious. We all know that most people that start companies, uh, you know, the chances are, you know, it's almost inevitable that it's not going to work out. It's kind of nine, maybe nine out of ten uh, startups, even the venture-backed startups don't, uh, don't end up going on to, to achieving something kind of uh, spectacular. So seeing that hive of activity and looking down through that central concourse uh, and just seeing that there's still so many people on site on the final afternoon is, uh, to me, it means that something you know, is really at its core. Ultimately, when we strip away all the things we want to improve for next year, uh, something's working in Toronto. Toronto's absolutely arrived uh, on the tech scene, and we can't wait to be back in Toronto uh, next year. So, Well, I, I thank you all again. Thank you to Patty and to Sunil Charma, of course, but to Patty and the whole Collision team. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Uh, I've said to Patty that I want to take some other things we've got going on here that some who live here know about. Uh, in addition to having a fabulous tech ecosystem, including fabulous startups and companies all the way up to global companies, we're one of the world's biggest film centers, a uh, huge center for special effects and music, and I want to sort of try and bring that around uh, Collision next year so it can be a much broader and, and bigger event. So please come back and bring your friends. And tonight, by the way, if you're sort of looking for something that actually you'll find kind of interesting and fun to do, um, our beloved Raptors are playing another game, but they're playing out of town. But they're playing out of town, but in front of the arena where they play when they're at home, 
there will be 10,000 people there tonight uh, cheering them on, and it's just really a big party, and uh, depending on how the team's doing, it's more fun than not, but they, it's pretty exciting anyway. So seriously, it's a 10-minute walk from probably where you're staying, and you can have fun. But we just hope you'll ha come back and bring your friends and have a great time next year, and thank you very much for coming and for um, everything that, uh, that uh, you brought to our city, which has been tremendous. I'll just say finally, a lot of folks that have flown in here, a lot of journalists have constantly asked me, you know, where's Drake? <laughs> and for anybody that's been watching the Raptors game, I mean, Coach Drake is quite clearly has been occupied over the last few days, and he seemed, Coach Drake seems to be doing a good job. But here's the deal, Patty. Yeah. He, yeah. You've seen he's got into controversy because he's sitting right on the floor and gets up and kind of gives the coach a shoulder massage. And somebody wrote a, put something on uh, Twitter yesterday, tweeted at him saying, if it was a musician or other performer on stage, would you go out and do that at some other kind of a place other than a basketball game? I think we should answer that by making sure when Patty is speaking next year at Collision and you're all here, that Drake comes out on the stage and starts giving him a shoulder massage. So we'll try and arrange that, okay? We'll, we'll plan for that. Um, that's great. I love, I love that. <laughs> um, so I'd just like to ask all of you finally just to put your hands together. The mayor's played such a huge role in, in persuading us that this was the right city to bet on when many told us not to, when many told us to go to San Francisco. He said, you must be joking. You're coming to this city. It's a fantastic city. And it is a fantastic city. And he is a fantastic mayor. So thank you very much. Uh, thank, thank you. you thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Are we going off this way?